Hey everybody, I wanted to start this video off again with um, sealing a canvas so that you can see how I do my process. Um, and it's when you have silicone or coconut milk in your paints or whatever, any type of oil that's going to leave a residue, it's important to get it off. So the first thing I do, and um, I've used baby powder, but and I've got a small canvas and a large canvas, and I'll show you why in just a minute. But uh, some people use cornstarch, so I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit of cornstarch. You don't need a ton, and just rub it in really good. This painting I did right here, I did this one three, probably three months ago. It's just been sitting, but I've got a festival to prepare for. And this one I did two or three weeks ago, I think. And so it's had plenty of time to dry. And this type of painting, as opposed to a poor painting, this type of painting dries in 24 hours, like really dries, because it's a very thin layer of paint there's a misconception with all acrylic pores that you're using a lot of paint and you're swiping off a lot of paint or whatever, but that's not true. You actually use very little paint and there's very little waste. So when it, when it levels out and dries, it is very thin and it takes no time at all to dry. And I would say it's, it's definitely cured within a week. So I'm going to take a damp paper towel and basically just wipe all this off. And this is a large canvas. This is like 24 by 36, so it's three feet tall. Making a pile here of my cornstarch so I don't want it sitting everywhere on the table and all. This one is easier to wipe off, so I'm going to wipe it off. Also, if you use cheap paper towels, they leave a residue on your canvas. I'm just letting you know that. So, when you're doing this, it's very important when you do the final wipe down to make sure that there is no paper or um, residue of any sort left over from your paper towels. That's why I choose to use the more expensive paper towels because there is no film or fuzz that's left over. So I've got the cornstarch off, and then I take a damp paper towel. This is a couple of them. And I've got Dawn dish liquid, which is good for, you know, degreasing stuff. And I take it and I scrub it on. And then I go back with another damp paper towel and wipe off any soapy residue. So I'm going to do the same thing with this. I'm not going to pour a, a bunch of dish liquid on my painting. I'm just putting it on this wet paper towel. So you can see where the uh, paper towel and the cornstarch has left a residue.
Now I'm going to wipe it back down and get off any. residue and especially on a black canvas you can really tell if you leave any kind of a residue it's going to show up it wouldn't be as easy to tell on a white canvas I've got another one see this is a cheap paper towel and it just it literally just falls apart let me switch That is done. I'm just, you know, I'm just continuing as it dries to make sure I've got all the cornstarch and everything off. And then some people say that they leave their canvas for, um, you know, a certain amount of time after they've cleaned it to let it thoroughly dry before they seal it and I don't do that. I just dry it. I might hit it with a blow dryer just to make sure that there's no dampness or anything like that. But I'm not using, I'm using a damp paper towel. It's not soaking wet, it's not super wet, that kind of thing. I make sure to, with everything that I do, I sign it. I've been an artist for 20 years and so it's important to have my name on it. So this one is signed here at the bottom. This one is signed with a very fine black sharpie in the corner where it's not noticeable because whoever purchases it might want to put it at a different angle. This one definitely has an orientation of this being the bottom and this is the top. So then I want my signature at the bottom and I'll make sure I got that one. So this one I'm going to seal what with my what I really like to use the most which is Liquitex high gloss varnish. This is archival and all that good stuff so UV damage everything is protected against. This one is I do a lot of my paintings with deco art paint and this is like a small bottle it's dura clear this is the gloss varnish so I'm going to do one on this small one with this and I'm going to do the large one with the Liquitex so on this one I always use sponge brushes make sure I have animals so I make sure there's no fur or any kind of residue on it. Make sure everything is cleared off the canvas and I just squirt out a, a healthy portion and I brush it in all directions. I kind of scrub it into the canvas with my sponge brush. And typically with most varnishes it kind of beads up a little bit. And if you can see, I don't know if you can see how it kind of, now it has an orange peel kind of effect. It's a milky color, but it dries clear. But you have just a, a few minutes to really work with it before it sets up. And then you can't go back over it because it will, it will not do well. So I crisscross, but then I do a final direction and I only go in one direction and I go from one side to the other all the way. You don't stop and start anywhere in the middle. You go fully across. You go over the, the last stroke that you just did. And I'm doing a very light movement with this. I'm not, I'm not pressing hard. Make sure to get your sides. And you make sure you're in some good lighting so that you can 
see the reflection and make sure you haven't missed anything, but I'm going to do it one more time and then it's, I don't need to touch it again because it, it, it has already started to kind of set up. Very light touch. Okay, so that one's done. And the first coat sometimes is all you need. It'll dry glossy and that's really all you need. It just depends on the size of your piece of artwork and I uh, see a spot where I missed. I'm just trying to very lightly go over that. It depends on your size of your canvas and all that, but usually like this one I'll do multiple coats because it is a very large canvas and there's going to be a lot of light hitting it in someone's home or whatever from different angles when the sun hits it or the lighting in the room. So you want to make sure you've really got several thorough good coats on to where it's nice and sealed. So um, this one is going to take multiple coats, but I'm just showing you the first coat and then you would just do the same thing for each additional coat. So now for the big one and using Liquitex and I have my Ziploc bag it has the date of the last well the first time I used this sponge brush was which is March 26th and today is April 6th or 7th so um, it's been a good week or so but it is still nice and moist and I have not rinsed it since the first time I used it so I just check to make sure nothing is dried or there's no pieces of hair or anything like that. So it's good to go. Just one more swipe. There's some little dots of paint that were splatters from when I did the painting and I leave that just because that makes it have some painterly effects and that's fine with me. So Liquitex is very wet. It's thinner than the, uh, the DuraClear by DecoArt. This is a lot more like kind of a milky, milkyish blue color when it comes out. Um, watery kind of varnish. So I put a pretty healthy amount on here. And I'm going to work as fast as I can. Also, like I have long hair, so I put it in a ponytail and make sure there's nothing that's going to fall down into the painting. So I'm basically just making sure I get every bit. I'm kind of scrubbing it in on the first coat. And you, like I said, you have to work fast, especially with a larger canvas. I'm going to put a little bit more on. And then I'm going to take all this and I'm going to go in one direction only. All the way from one end to the other, back and forth. And this has started to set up like right away. And also with it being a large surface, you can't get a great, um, especially on the first coat, you can't get great coverage. 
like some smaller canvases you can do in one coat and it's plenty and it looks great but on a large one it, it, to me it's not possible so I'll let this dry for a few hours and then I'll come back and I'll go this way and I'll do a coat this way and then I'll let it dry a few hours and then I'll come back and I'll put another coat on this way again so I switch directions so that you don't have the same direction of brush strokes even a sponge brush is going to have a little bit of brush strokes but with each layer you can kind of put on a, a thicker coat and very lightly brush it and it'll almost just leave it a really glossy smooth finish so that's the way I do it I take my Ziploc bag and I put my brush right back in and seal it up make sure there's no air in it and I keep it until the next coat just like that so it's going to sit and wait for its second coat all right we've got we got some reflection from the lights but um, this is I've already put two coats on I did the first coat lengthwise I did the second coat across and I'm going to do the final coat this way again I'm taking my wet sponge brush that I used before and very quickly I'm just going to get it all over the canvas as quickly as I can. And then very lightly. I see something I missed. I go back. But and I can see in my reflections if I'm kind of where it's not really wet looking you can tell where the dry part is and where you've just put fresh varnish so and that final stroke is very light so it's kind of a thicker layer but it, it'll it'll level itself out And just um, make sure my edges are covered well. You always make sure there's no drips over your edges. And it will set up kind of right away, but you can see in the light how glossy it looks. Um, and this will be the final coat for this one. I'll, it's, it will have taken three coats to, to get it to look the way I wanted it to look. So it's pretty simple. But I just put this back in the Ziploc bag, seal it. Make sure there's no air in it. And I can still use it for other paintings a few more times. So, you know, like I said, it's March 26th. I can probably use it for another few days. So I almost probably get almost two weeks out of it, keeping it in a bag and not rinsing it in between because when you rinse it in between, it kind of wears out the sponge brush as well. So this just kind of keeps it nice and moist. So that's the final coat. And if you liked it, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thanks.